Hey, hello, welcome to the show, Trucking Tendencies. I am your host, Trucking Tempo. Thank you for tuning in and listening. This one is me, uh, I guess a rant on American Made. Uh, yeah, if you're listening to this and you got one of these, thank you very much uh, for doing what you do. You guys, I mean, I'm, if I don't tip in cash, I tip in stickers. <laughs> Those tickets, I, I should probably leave more because they're like 80 cents or a, a dollar a sticker. Um, 80 cents to a dollar. So, what, five stickers? <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, the support. Uh, this is on American-made products. And I think China has got queued in. or They got queued. They understand what's happening. Um, and Donald, Tr- Donald Trump pretty much set it off, didn't he? We need to have more American-made products made in America. And and it's true. But not everybody wants to flip. I uh, want us to do it. So it's kind of tricky, right? So to make that happen. But it could start with uh, what inspired me. It was this tire gauge that I purchased at, uh, at a Love's truck stop. I thought it was a... Uh, American made and kind of crossing my fingers, you know. Oh, yeah, American made, but it's not. It's a, a product made in China. And I would be more than happy to pay. It was 28 bucks out the door, plus taxes and everything in Arizona. I would be more than happy to pay an extra 10 bucks 38 dollars if it was made in America do you think that would be enough is that enough for someone to be in a factory right somewhere in America making these instead of Sending it to China. Dude, that's the crazy thing. that I, this, That's the most insane thing that I've heard. The most wasteful, unproductive, counterproductive, efficient type of practice that I've heard happened. And it just happens. It just does. But sending, I guess they pack Someone, where did I? I don't even know where I heard it. It was a while ago. But they process chicken raw chicken some somewhere here they grow it they grow the chicken here in the United States they farm them they grow them they process them they ship them to China across the Pacific Ocean and then ship it back they package it in China and then ship it back to the United States that's the most bonkers thing, I think. It's that's ludicrous, like insane. Isn't that insane? That has to be like insane. But I don't know. That's the way things are, right? That's the way it is right now. But this tire gauge is pretty neat. It's a tire gauge straight on dual foot steel. It has a release pressure valve. So you can check it from the inside tires and the outside tires. And as a release valve and a magnifying digital display. And it goes from 10 PSI to 120 PSI. Precision instrument designed and calibrated for accurate pressure readings. Chrome plated with a dual foot chuck. Easy to read on both PSI and KPA chrome plated zinc alloy with solid brass core pressure release button not a valve heavy duty chrome plated with special finish for better grip calibrated for psi and kpa readings yeah pressure indicated indicator with magnifying glass yeah everything pretty basic 
And I guess you always should be wearing, I always wear protective eyewear when using tools. And at the very bottom, made in China. Anyway, that's a short little rant. Thank you for listening. I appreciate the support. And eyes on the road. Thank you. But I find it simplest to illustrate it by hearing without comment so that you can get into tune with what is. You can't really get out of tune with it. But we don't know that yet. (laughs) Maybe some of you do. (laughs) 